What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield and in today's video we're showcasing a Choice Band Zamazeta team that also features Choice Scarf Landers and Power Herb Celestia. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you to everybody who supports me as a content creator. But before we get into today's team preview, I want to give a huge shout out to my boy Gail. Gail, thank you so much for leaving this team in my Instagram DMs. Cannot wait to get after it and potentially get a winning record with it as well. And also, I want to give another shout out to my boy Gail because he's been a long time viewer on this channel. So seriously, thank you so much for the support throughout the years. But getting started with this team, we have Zamazetta in that top left corner. Zamazetta is a very cool Pokemon, very underrated here as well. But this time, we're rocking out with that Choice Band instead of his little Shield item. So we're probably, not, I don't think we get the Defense Boost. I think you need the item and the uh, ability on it. But we do have the ability, we have the Dauntless Shield because I think that's the only ability it learns. We have that Choice Band as its item, trying to have some fun with it. Then we got Iron Head, Close Combat, Wild Charge, and Crunch for its moveset. Right next to him is going to be that Regilecki. Love Regilecki. Great little Pokemon in this series. Good at speed control, and it also hits hard. We got Transistor Ability, Focus Sash as an item. Then we got E-Web, Thunderbolt, Bolt Switch, and Protect for the moveset. Middle left is going to be that Choice Scarf Landorus with that Intimidate, and like I said, Choice Scarf as its item. Rock Slide, EQ, Earth Power, and U-Turn for its moveset. Very, very great moveset here. I think it's going to be able to rock out and do a lot of damage all around. Right next to him is going to be Rillaboom. Rillaboom, don't even have to say anything about it, but I am because this Pokemon is super, super strong in this series. Grassy Surge ability, Miracle Seed as its item, so our grass moves will be able to do even more damage. We got Fake Out for the flinches, Grassy Guy for first turn priority in that surge, Taunt for taunting opposing support mods, and Woodhammer for our big stab damage move. Bottom left corner is going to be another heavy meta Pokemon, which is Incineroar. Just works too well not to use it in this series. We got Intimidate on that thing, Citrus Berry as the item, and that normal moveset of Fake Out, Snarl, Flare Blitz, and Parting Shot. Final Pokemon on this team is going to be our Ultra Beast, and that's going to be Celesteel. And I think Celesteel is definitely one of the better Ultra Beasts. All around, super, super good. It's very tanky, and especially with this moveset and item, it's going to be able to hit hard as well. We have the Beast Boost as its ability, the Power Herb item, Flash Cannon for Stab, Meteor Beam to use our Power Herb, and to get a special attack boost, and do massive amount of damage. So, like I said, this thing is going to be able to hit like a truck. Then we also have Air Slash for Stab, and then Wide Guard for our little Protect up against double hitting moves. Guys, if you want to try out the team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this choice band Zamazenta team. Before we hop into our first battle, I want to go over Series 11. And guys, I need teams for Series 11, so if you guys are interested, send me your guys' rental codes in my Instagram DMs. Name is right below my face cam, and link is down in the description below. If you do not have Instagram, try to leave me in the comments section because I would love to get my hands on some Series 11 teams to record with. But we're hopping into our first battle here, going up against a pretty cool off-meta team that features Zamazenta as his restricted bond. So I don't think I ever had Zamazenta versus Zamazenta because... It's very off meta, so this one's gonna be cool. He has the Quagsire, the Garchomp, Zapdos, Cinderace, and Articuno. So, pretty cool team. I give this dude props, especially towards the end of the season. In Master Ball tier, you really don't see a lot of uh, off meta teams. But, how should I go into this one? How should I play this one? I think I'm gonna lead Zamazenta just for that choice ban. Just get off early, try to get off some big damage. And I think Regilek, he's just a great lead all around. Uh, bring Incineroar in the back end for that Intimidate, or or I could have Choice. I could have Choice Scarf Lando, but I just don't think it's a play. I don't think that's a play. I could bring in Rillaboom in that back end, or I could Celestia. Who do I want? Who would this Jeans want? Even though the ground works really well, and the Rock Slide could work really, really well. I just think maybe Pokemon like Celestia can come in this back end and really do work. Let's do it. Let's rip up with him. He has Meteor Beam for this flying Pokemon. We can. We should be fine. We should totally be fine here, but hey, guys, let me know for question of the day as well in the comment section down below. What is your Halloween costume for this year? Considering Halloween is right around the corner by this time this video uploads, I would love to know your guys' Halloween costume for whether you're going trick-or-treating or going out to a party. For me, your boy's going out to a party. I'm about to be 23, well, a couple of months I'll be 23. So I'm gonna be going out to a party and I'm gonna be Rick Sanchez from Rick and Morty. All I need is the lab coat and the flask, and then my costume is complete. And yes, I can have a flask, like I said. I'm gonna be 23, <laughs> but this guy leads to Articuno alongside with Garchomp, and we have that shiny Zamazenta, dude. I know everyone's getting those shiny codes for a Zamazenta and Zacian, which is pretty cool. And you never see like a, a Zamazenta, but he's not in his form. He's not in his form because we don't have that item. We don't have the item. We're rocking choice ban with him, which is super, super sick. But I'm going to go into an Iron Head because it is stab. I think we might just E-Web. I could Bolt Switch. I could just go into like a lot right now. Iron Head is definitely going to be a player. Let's double down into him. I am going to Bolt Switch out of here. I have no effect onto that uh, 
that guard chomp. That's gonna be our play. We're gonna Volt Switch here. I don't think this is gonna be able to pick up the KO. Yeah, see, it's not gonna be able to. But in our case, we can slide out and switch into Celestial. Thinking that this guard chomp could potentially be going for a ground move. So let's go into Celestial here. Have that flying ability. I love how Celestial is part flying. It's just so funny. Steel and flying with no wings. Earthquake is gonna fly. Yep, there it is. There's the EQ. And that might deal some good da amount of damage to my Zamazenta. Nope, we're able to eat up all day. We're able to eat up all day. So great little Volt Switch pivot for us. Ironhead's going to be able to come in here, take that thing out no problem. And we're sitting here very, very strong in our first turn. Hey, yo, Gale. I'm loving this team already. I'm loving this team already. It's looking real good. At first, I was sitting here. I was like, twist ban on Zamazenta. We don't get the defense boost. Eh, I don't know how to feel about that. But then I was just like, maybe this thing can hit really, really hard. We should be thriving with it. This guy's going to go in with his shiny Zamazenta, and that thing looks so sick. With the shield on the front, all pink, it is going to get that defense boost. I could actually switch to a clip. Oh, I'm choice banned. God dang it. Totally forgot. Choice banned over here. I could drop a Meteor Beam. I could wide guard. Uh, wide guard's really not going to do anything. I say he doesn't go into that. Uh, I don't think he goes into that uh, That EQ. So I'm going to double down into this guard chomp here. Gotta get off some nice zesty damage here. I do wish I had leech seed on this boy right here on the Celestial because I can just seed up in this situation. We could be totally thriving with this. But we still have the Incineroar in the back onto the Steel Pokemon and then we can get an attack drop on two physical attackers. He ends up with Shaw on him and who's he gonna go into? Who's he gonna go into? Who's dying? Oh, poor little Quagsire. Gonna take some heavy damage here. Poor little Quagsire is gonna take some damage here. He's gonna go for a play rough. That's super effective. Look how bulky we are. Look how bulky we are. He's a beast, even without a defense boost. Chip away some damage is not very effective. We kind of knew that, but it's all good. Look, the flash cannon's going to fire. Did he read the double seal move? I don't know, man. Nice little play by him. He's going to end up using his little bit of leftovers. And um, I might swap my Zamazetta. Just have him in the back end. Swap him into Incineroar could be really good here. So I'm going to go Incineroar. And then do I Meteor Beam? Good Air Slash. Air Slash is stab. Just get after his Quagsire. Slowly chip away onto this thing. I could see this thing being like recover and just be playing this game slow. But we'll see how this one plays. We get our Incineroar out here. We have our choice band reset on our Zamazetta, which is just. Mwah, it's beautiful. It is a beautiful little play. I think both these guys are physical attack. I know Zamazetta is. I know that 100%. It's easy eats over here, baby. That's easy eats. This thing is doing like no damage. This thing is doing like no damage. Get off a nice little air slash, and a toxic is coming out here. And it doesn't affect me. Thank God he's going after Celestial. Thank God. What is this guy doing? What is this guy doing, bro? Get him out of my face. Uh, we could go for the fake out, but I, I might just think the Flare Blitz is the play. I'm just going to straight up Flare Blitz. And we ain't even going to go for that. I could Meteor Beam, but it's really not going to do anything. So I'm just going to keep keep with my Air Slashes. Save my Meteor Beam for the back end. Oh, uh, what is it? We're, we're just ripping on this guy. This guy's going to go for a close combat. And we eat that as well. Wow. We eat it all day today. This thing gets a defense drop, which leads me to think that... uh. We could take out with his flare blitz. And we have our citrus berry. So the recoil damage is not going to take us out. Mwah, beautiful, beautiful, baby. Loving it. Air Slash going to fly here. This is not going to be able to pick up the KO, but hopefully we can get the flinch. Flinch could just be dandy here. Flare blitz is going to fly. Say Zamazetta. Go home. Nope. This thing's still super bulky, dude. This thing is still a bulk. This thing is still just that absolute monster. All right. So he's going to go into maybe another close combat here. going to recover. I really just want to drop a Meteor Beam, bro. I really just want to drop a Meteor Beam, but I'm going to double down into the Zamazenta just in case. Just in case he, uh... I mean, we could save this. We know he has a Garchomp. And, ooh. Ooh, we are going to need you, Incineroar. We're going to swap the Regilecki here. We are going to swap in the Regilecki here. We're going to need Incineroar for this back end. I'm going to start trying to take this thing out. Because Zamazenta is low HP. And we're going to need somebody for like a fake out or something. And Red's like he cannot hit up on a guard chomp. That's going to be good. He's going to close combat onto us. It's easy eats for the boy. And now this defense is super low. And I think Celestial should just be able to take this thing out in one shot. Let's see how Sue plays this one. Let's see how Sue plays this one. Because what's going on? Red's like he can't hit up on Wagsire or, or guard chomp. So we might as well just have this Pokemon out here to, to take a hit, right? Better than nothing. Better than nothing. There goes special defense boost. And this thing's going to recover yet again. Okay, so this thing is back up to full HP. I'm really not too worried about that. This is a two ground Pokemon, which is scary. And I, I would love to drop off a Meteor Beam, and I think I am going to drop off a Meteor Beam just for the sheer fact is we get that special attack boost. 
So I think that's definitely gonna be a play, and then Red Selecki would just gonna let him die out here. Because again, he does absolutely nothing. He can't. He physically can't. We have Protect and uh, and these moves that have no effect on both of them, but I'm still gonna send it. I'm still gonna send his E Web. And I'm just gonna go for a Meteor Beam over here into the Garchomp. I feel like Garchomp poses a little bit bigger of a threat. Let's do it. Let's do him dirty here. Let's do him dirty. I know it's not very effective, but we need a special attack to just. God dang, Reg is like you doing nothing over here. <laughs> it's like the one time. Usually Reg like he's like controlling the battle, hitting hard, doing a bunch of work. This thing can't do anything. He's legit just like a punching bag out here. Hopefully he dies. Hopefully he dies. Hopefully someone takes him out. He's gonna go for a fire bank. Please, yes, thank you. Take him out. Yes. Later, skater. Get him out of my face. <laughs> we don't want him here. We don't want him here. Meteor Beam is going to drop. Now, I wonder what Quagsire is going for. Get a nice, lovely Meteor Beam chipping away here. We do have a special defense boost from our Beast Boost, and there's a special attack boost, which is going to help us out tremendously. And now, at this point, I just get out Incineroar for a fake out and just slowly chip away, and then save my Zamazena for back end. Meteor Beam flying here. Okay, I'll take that damage. I'll take it. I knew I wasn't going to do a lot. And here comes the Scald. Which, if you get a burn, bro, if you get a burn, I'm going to cry a little bit. Bruh. What you mean? What do you mean? Bro, this game, dude, this game. He's lucky I'm special attacking. He's lucky I am special attacking. But still, he gets a chip damage. Out comes Incineroar. Love the little Pokemons. Love the little Pokemons. And who do I go after from here? Who should Jeans go after from here? Fight. You definitely want to fake out onto the dude. Garchomp. Garchomp, I'm coming for you. The Flash Cannon Bondo, which is exactly what we're going to do. It's Stab. Which we might be able to KO with that. We'll see. Plus one. Plus one stab. Normal effectiveness. Chipping away, flinching. It's against rough skin. You son of a biscuit. Puts us down to eight HP. We make him flinch and a flash cannon flying through here. And we're burned, man. I don't like being burned. Take him out. Mmm. Hate this game. Skull coming through here. Go ahead. Take out my incinerator. Okay, so incinerator goes down here. Um. Did Zama's at an outspeed before that? I think he did. I think Zama's at an outspeed the guard child. So, we're going to be able to go into this. I kind of want to choice into, like, a, a close combat. Because I have to do damage onto this, uh... Onto this Quagsire. I want to choice into something fun. Something, something fun, man. <laughs> um, I think close combat is definitely, definitely a call here. I'm going to take out you. I'm just going to air slash. Look for the punch here. I think... I should check the speed. I think Sama's at a ghost first, though. I think it is faster than Garchomp, if I do remember correctly. You know, solid first battle. Solid first battle. Definitely going longer than I expected it to. Just because the Reg Lucky couldn't hit up on anybody. Let's see this dude's play. Let's see this dude's play. Fire Fang's gonna come out here. Ooh. Ooh. We eat, though. We eat all day. Beautiful. Beautiful. Take this thing out. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I thought maybe that was taking us out. But I gotta remember. I don't think we're Steel Typing. Or are we just Fairy? I, I, I don't even... I, we might we might be fighting. I totally forget Zamba's at his typing right now. But Air Slash coming out here. Hopefully we can get the flinch and get off another close combat in a little bit. But I think we should be fine. Yeah, we are just teeing off here. Skull's going to fly through here. That's probably going to KO me, right? All right, it comes down to a 1v1. Comes down to a 1v1 situation. I think we should be fine here. He's probably going to recover this turn, which is like, eh. Kind of annoying. But I'm just going to start hitting him up with my... Uh, with my air slash, which we should slowly just be able to eventually get a flinch. Like, statistically, we should be able to get a flinch very, very soon. Let's go and do this again. Just keep chipping away. We always we outspeed him, which is great. And if he doesn't recover this turn, then we win. Because we know this thing cannot take us out. Air slash flying. Ugh. Sending it. And we get a crit. And we get a crit! It wasn't even a crit. I guess we just got a high roll there. Awesome. GG's. That's how it's done. Want to know to get the video started? Let's hop into our second and look to go back to back. Now we got a challenge on our hands. We're hopping into our second battle, going up against the heavy meta Ice Rider Calyrex team. Like, this is a strong team. We already know this. I think I showcased a team very, very similar to this one on the channel a little bit back, but we know the power of this team. It has the Serene over here, alongside with the uh, Mimikyu, the Sakataka for Trick Room. I mean, Mimikyu could pop Trick Room as well. Then he has Intimidate Incineroar and Amoongus for support. Okay, how should I go into this one? How should I play it? Uh, definitely need an Intimidate mine. I might bring two. I might bring two. He has no Define. He has a lot of physical attackers. But I think bringing both of them could be very, very good for us. But uh, let's go Regilecki Lando. Hmm. 
I think I think the team that we're bringing is going to be Regilecki, Landorus, Incineroar, and Zamazenta. I think that's a that's a good team. But I think we need to start taking speed control early on here. But I'm going to bring you, and I might lead uh, I lead Incineroar. I don't want to lead Double Intimidate. I just don't think this play. I'm gonna lead these two. I'm gonna lead these two, and then I think I'm going to bring Zamazenta and Incineroar. Incineroar over here. Oh wait, wait a minute. Why didn't I did I just unclick everybody? I thought I just clicked on all four of them. <laughs> Let's go on with these guys. It's Amos that are rocking out here, and then Incineroar in the final spot. I am liking it. I am digging it, but I already know this one's going to be tough. I already know this one is going to be tough. So hopefully we can outplay. Hopefully we can play good in this one and grab ourselves back-to-back -back wins here. If not, we'll take the L here and grab ourselves that winning record in that third one. But that first battle definitely went longer than I thought it was. I thought it was just going to be an easy battle for us. It a very off-meta team, but it was still very, very cool to go up against. But let's see who he throws out. Maybe Serena's lead. Nope. Mimi Mimis and Amoongi Moongi. Alright. So, what should I do from here? He can spore me, which I don't like. I don't like a good old spore. I don't like a spore. Timmy is going to work well because Mimi Q is physical. And I could see him popping off into a Trick Room. Trick Room could definitely be a play. I mean, I could EQ, but then I just kill myself. In it. But, uh, could Rock Slide maybe look for some flinches here? That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to look for Speed Control and flinches. And try to go from there. That is the Jeans player. One choice scarf into that. E web flying through here. Oh, I could see maybe a spore into Trick Room. But we're looking for these flinches here. We're looking for the flinches all day here. We do take off the disguise, which is lovely. This is a lovely little disguise. And if he can get off this Trick Room, that would be scary. It'd definitely be scary because then Amoongus just puts me to sleep for days, right? That's tough. Chip it away. Give me flinches. Give me double flinch. Oh no, give me at least one flinch. Give me this flinch, baby. Yo, we need this flinch. If not, we, we, we pretty much lost this one. Give me flinch. No! What'd you mean? <laughs> what you mean? I definitely did not expect this lead here. But, uh, okay. So, this one's a little tough here. I'm gonna protect, try to just waste out these sleep trench, because we know he's sporing up on me. We know he's sporing. He could double down on my red lucky, which could be awesome. Or I could definitely see a spore into a hard swap into Ice Rider Calyrex. Which is like, eh. Which is very scary. It's definitely very scary. Let's just see how this dude moves. Let's see how this dude moves, y'all, dude. This one's tough. I don't like it one bit. I don't like it how it's going one bit. Yep, there's the withdrawal. Yo, we know exactly what he's doing. We know exactly what he's doing. He's going for the spore in the Regilac here. Oh, my lord. Okay, I definitely have to hard swap this, uh, this Lando here. Unnerved popping. The tech coming out here. Yo, we do have a sash. We do have a lovely little sash. He's gonna go for the spore. Oh, dude, I hate this game. I hate this game. Like, dude, this series stinks, dude. It's a rough series. It's a really, it's a really dull series. Like, I, I I'm so like over this series. Like, I cannot wait for the next series to come out because it's just the same thing every single time. It really is. I could go for the double protect. That might be my best bet because he is gonna put me to sleep. But I'm gonna go for double protect. Like, we're going to sleep anyway, so it's just like, bro. Can I land it? Can I land double protect? That would definitely be our play. I'm gonna swap it to the Incineroar just for this Intimidate and a Fake Out next turn. And I'm hoping we can get this double protect off. That could be huge for us. Do it. Do it, Regilecki. Do him dirty here. Do him dirty here. Give it to him. Give it to him. Protect. We got it! We got it! Okay. Okay. Spore into me. Yes! You were not expecting that. And now your little Glacial Lance is not going to be able to kill my Incineroar. I can fake out. I can do a little bit. I can do a little bit of stuff and things here. Alright. So what's the play here, though? He has to fake out on one of my guys. I mean, he has to spoil one of my guys. Actually, yeah, let's go. Let's just do this. Let's go fake out here. And then I could Bolt Switch out. Actually, I do have Focus Ash. The Thunderbolt, maybe look for a Paralyze here. How many turns left to Trick Room? That's the real question. Two. Let's go for the Thunderbolt. Maybe we get off Paralyze, start getting some chip damage away. But, dude, Double Protect coming in clutch. I was sitting there, I was like, I was like, okay. I was like, I was like, there's no, like, like, we either go to sleep or we go for Double Protect. And Double Protect prevailed. We're able to eat up. And here goes my Thunderbolt. Give me Paralyze, man. 
Give me paralyzed. This guy's this guy's getting some luck with no flinch. Give me paralyzed now. Come on, man. Come on. Uh, at this point, uh, definitely want to protect. But who should I, should I swap in? Anybody? No. I guess maybe we'll go for a parting shot if I can get it all. That would be really really nice. And then I'll just protect my Lucky. Like because the sheer fact is, uh, we what's called trick room ends next turn. And that's good for us. But we're slowly slowly playing this one. Rage powder coming through here. And hopefully this can come for another Glacial Lance. But if that's happening, yes it does. Incineroar should be able to eat. Incineroar should be able to eat getting off a parting shot and a swap out. Right? Show that to me. Show it to me all day. And we do have a berry, don't we? Are we rocking a berry? Oh, he has unnerved. But yo, we eating up all day. Parting shot. We out of here. Okay. So now I can go for speed control. Oh, he rage powder that. I really wish that was on the counter, but I'll take that, I guess. I'll take the swap anyway. But in this case, uh, we could go into Landorus here. Which I think is going to be the play. Toy Scarf into Landorus. Drop a Rock Slide. Maybe get some flinches. And then uh, E-Web just in case the Rage Powder wants to come through here. Oh, we're still asleep though. We got to wake up. But Intimidate is really, really good for us though. Intimidate is lovely. It is lovely. So, no more Trick Room. Definitely want to go. still go into this Rock Slide here. Even though that is four times super effective. We're going to go for this rock slide. Yeah. We're going to say we wake up here. And we're going to go for this e web. We doing it. We doing it. We going for it. It's going to witch all moves. Okay. Okay. And who's he going to go into from here? Serene over here. Uh, first turn priority isn't going to do anything. We don't have anything going first turn. And we need my boy to wake up here. Wake up, Lando. Wake up, Lando. Lando, wake up here. There's a nice little speed drop. If Lando doesn't wake up, this thing's going to go plus two up on the board. He does wake up. Awesome. Rockside. Can Rockside KO here? Do it. Do it to him. Give me a flinch at least. Give me some flinches. Give me a flinch. Yes! Let's go, Lando. You the man. Rock it out again. Rockside. Once again. E-Web. Coming in hot. We doing it. We doing it, yo. We playing this one solid. We playing this one solid. E-Web flying through here. If this Rockside connects, we're pretty much sitting in a huge driver's seat here. And hopefully it does connect. There's a nice little speed drop on both those guys. Uh, come on, Lando. Need you here, buddy. Need you here. Rock slide. Who dodged it? I think the screen dodged it. Let's go. Let's go. That's huge. That is huge. That is huge, yo. Dude, the Regilecki protects definitely clutching up. We did get a little lucky with the flinch, but uh, I'm with this all day. You're dead, Lando, which is totally fine. This thing is probably wide lens. I mean, two shots kills us anyway. I'm cool with that. I'm so cool with that. Super effective. Uh, who do I think he's going to throw out? He has a Moongus, Mimikyu, and... And what's it called? And Serene. So I'm just going to... I'm going to save my Zama's at a for the back end. I'm definitely going to save my Zama's at a for the back end. Sinor is going to fly out here. We can't pick out, so I can just drop a huge flare bolt onto the Serene over here. And here comes a Mimikyu. I'm totally cool with that. I'm totally cool with that. Intimidate is going to fly on two physical backers. We know we can't fake out. I think we just flare blitz into that thing. And our berry finally triggers. Yes, sir. Our nerves off the field. I was waiting for that. I was wondering once we get out on the field, are we going to get some HP from our berry? And we do. The flare blitz definitely got to fly here. Uh, what, E web? Just to slow down? Or do I Thunderbolt? I think we E web just to, just to slow down these Pokemon. Because Mimikyu might be able to outspeed. He's going to withdraw the screen and go into a Moongus, which I'm, I'm fine with. I'm fine with this thing gonna go into a trick room. It might be trick room. It could be his play. It could be trick room. Man. But oh, uh, we get off some damage with that E web there. Yeah, I think this thing is definitely gonna trick room. Here comes a flare blitz. How much damage are we gonna do with flare blitz? With a lovely little flare blitz. A lot. Oh my god, what is this game? Bro, that looked like it was dipping till he died. What you mean, dude? <laughs> That's so rough. That is so <laughs> rough, dude. I'm gonna snarl here alongside with an E web. That is so rough that Amuga should be dead. We might lose this one. Are you kidding me? He's gonna spore. I think he's gonna spore into my uh my Incineroar. Right? Thinking that my my Regilek like, he's protecting because we've been protecting with him all game. But dude, look at dude, that bar dropped so fast and then it just stopped on a dime on one HP. Can't do it. Can't deal with these free focus ashes, man. Can't deal with the free focus ashes. 
They are annoying. He protects you. Loving it. Loving it. Who you going after, Mimi? Mimi's gonna go for a player off. Oh, I'm loving that even more. That's fine, because that Snarl probably wasn't even gonna take you out. But I know Eweb will. I know Eweb will. That was a big mistake, buddy, going into that protect. Big mistake. Should have spored me. You might have lost the battle on that one. Let's do that. Later, Mimi. Ah! Ah! What you mean? What you mean? Yo, what? <laughs> <laughs> what is this, dude? What is this? I can't deal with it. I can't do it. I just can't do it anymore. We're gonna lose. We're gonna lose because of this. Oh my lord. That one hurts. That really hurts. That hurts so bad. That dude, that hurts. That hurts, man. Shadow Sneak come through. Eat this up. Eat it up. Oh my lord, yo, that hurts. Now he just spores me. Oh my lord, dude. What is this game? What is this game? Yo, come on, guys. Come on. You know that we were, we were out playing this guy. Dude gets two. Not one. Not one. Two. Two of those free focus ashes. We'll see what we can do here. It's not looking good. Not look good. We need an early little wake up session here. Yo, come on. And we have no double hitting moves. He's gonna clear smog, dude. He's smogging me, dude. Wake up, dude. Play rough. Miss, wake up. No! <laughs> Bro, come on, dude. First of all, my Incineroar st should still be alive. Incineroar should have took out a Moogus. Oh, dude. What hurts? This one hurts. He's smogging me again. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Miss again. Miss again. Dang it. Connects. We eat, though. It's over with. He outspeeds me all day. Oh, mm, my lord. Let me just run. Zamazetta, I'll keep you alive here. That's rough news, man. That is rough news. He's going to shadow sneak. That's GG's. Rough, rough second battle. Actually, good battle. Just he got two free lucky focus ashes to get himself that win. But, hey, we're opening the third one, and I'm going to get you guys that winning record. Sometimes this game is just a pain, man. That second battle perfectly explains why this game can be very, very frustrating. Yo, two free focus ashes get out of my face. And they were like back to back. They were like back to back. It wasn't even like one in battle number one and one in battle number two. Nah, same battle, lost it for us. Like we could have dealt with one of them and been probably fine and won the game. But two, two put us in the back end and we lost that one. But hey, third and final battle. Let's grab you guys that winning record. We're going up against the Zastian team. Alongside with Rillaboom, Latias, Incineroar, Tapu Fini, and Regilecki. This, this seems like it's going to be a good battle here. We definitely need some speed control here. I think I'm going to go Incineroar alongside with Regilecki. Just works really, really well here. Um, let's go Zamazetta in that back end, get that choice band rocking, and then final Pokemon. Do we want Rillaboom? Do we want the Rillaboom? Or do we want the Landers? I think that that, that double intimidate is going to be really, really good. So I'm going to go Lando. I'm going to go in with my Lando. Same squad as that last battle. I think we should totally be thriving. We should totally be thriving. We're grabbing ourselves this winning right? I'm telling you guys, we're going to get We're going to get this one. We are going to get this one. Well, dude, I'm getting super, super excited for all new content on the channel. Like, just think, like, two months, we are going to have Legends Arceus. Actually, Legends Arceus is a little bit longer than that. But still, Legends Arceus very, very soon. Diamond and Pearl will hold us over. Series 11 and a bunch of po Pokemon Unite content. Come on. Cannot ask for anything more than that. But we're going to end up going in with these two. He goes in with the Grassy Surge. He can Grassy Guide on me. I do have the Focus Ash. I do have the Focus Ash, but I am going to fake him out. Turn one. He's going to end him there. I don't care if he goes for tail one because we're just gonna start uh, lowering, lowering speed. I'm just gonna go for the fake out into the e web. I think e web might just be a play. Just a slow down, just to get a little bit slow down. Ed. Good strong. I could just fire with turn one. But I'm just gonna fake out. Fake out just so he doesn't grant you god. Or fake out onto me. Logan is going to fake out onto me, so he does that. All right, cool. E web should be able to fly here, and he might set up a tail one. Let's see what. Let's see if this dude's play. Let's see this dude's play. So nice little speed drop. Is he tailwinding? I can definitely see that happening. And if he does, I might protect him parting shot here. Yep, there's the tailwind. Lovely little tailwind. Let's protect the parting shot. Probably my play. Probably my play. This thing could be rocking U turn. But I can definitely see like a glancy guy kind of flying out here. So let's go protect. Or I could protect next turn. 
I could go E-Web, just for speed control, because we are Sash, and I don't see him really doubling down into me. And just go into a Flutter Blitz. I kind of do like this turn. Beautiful. I kind of do dig that. It's still out speed, which is just dandy. This Tailwind really don't matter here. This Tailwind is kind of canceled out, uh, at least on these two Pokemon, because Tailwind is like plus two, and we minus two both of them. And oh, whoa. Hey, over there. Hey there, buddy. Hey there, buddy. Dropping a Meteor. I think he's dropping a Meteor. Sash is going to trigger here. That's totally fine by me. The Flutter Blitz come out beforehand. Let's see. This thing's stats is in the dumps. In the dumps. And this thing's going to go for a knockoff. Taking off my berry. Yo, I'm cool with that all day. I'm cool with that all day. So I'm going to keep Regilecki out here right now. Actually, I might protect. Let's see what this dude does. Or let's see how much damage this can do at least. Okay, KOs. Yeah, we're keeping Regilecki out here. We keeping Regilecki out here. So I could go for the parting shot now. We know we outspeed the Latias, which is great, which is just dandy. Well, at least my Regilecki. Now let's see who he brings in here. So I could always protect the parting shot. But if he brings in someone who's kind of slow, then I'm just going to rock out with my... Uh... It's going to be Incineroar, so he can't fake me out. I think I'm just going to protect the parting shot. Because there's no way he fakes out my... Uh... There's no way he fakes out onto my... Uh... There's no way he fakes out on Incineroar. He's going to fake out on the Regilecki. So I'm just going to go into that. And then Gene's just going to drop a nice, lovely little parting shot. I'm All right, you got to fake out my Regilecki to pick up the KO. And then I just don't see a Draco meter or anything really KO me with that Latios. Now that it's... uh. Now that it's minus two. The Protect flies out here. Let's see if the fake out does come in that way. It does. It does indeed, baby. Jeans, make a better plays. Now I switch and come through here. That, that, that's fine. That's fine. I'm parting shotting, so it really don't matter. And the reason I'm parting shotting isn't really to get the attack drop onto that Incineroar. It's just so I can have my Incineroar in the back end. So we're going to parting shot here. Now I can just E-Web freely and bring out the one and only Choice Band. Actually, I could bring out you. EP. Hmm. Do I want to bring out the Choice Band guy and go into close combat now? I just don't see that being the play. I just see EP coming in here and doing work onto that instant of war. I really like that. I really like that. Okay. So, let's go into the EP. I could Rock Slide too. Rock Slide could be deadly. But, I think we're fine. I think we're fine here. Going into the web. We do get a little bit of HP back, which is lovely. We love you. Solid battle so far. Solid battle. Let's go into the E web. Start slowing down everybody. And then I just think the Earth Powers to play. Stab, super effective. Might be able to pick up the KO. Let's see how this one plays out. E web flying, yo. You can have your tailwind all day. We're speed controlling with Regilecki. Regilecki, too good. He, too good. EP's gonna be able to fly here. And I wonder what he's going for. Maybe another Draco meter, but. Maybe an ally switch. Nope, no ally switch. We're coming after you. Take him out. Do some damage. Nope, no KO, but still a decent amount of chunk on him. Tenor is very, very bulky, and he could be going for a, a parting shot. Hopefully they might just take out my Regilecki. Let's see. Ice Beam. Ooh, Ice Beam's going to fly, but I still see us eating that up. Yeah. It is four times super effective. Still, this thing is in the dumps on the minus board. He's going to throw a chop. That's fine. That's fine. Regilecki finally goes down there. I think their Tailwind should be out. Time should be up for that, and we can bring in whoever we want. Tailwind's gone. I could EP again. I could go into Zamazetta. Do I go into Zamazetta here? Yeah, let's go into Zamazetta here. And I'm going to choice into that crunch. Just so I can potentially take out that uh, Latias. And then EP again. I think EP is definitely to play. He might ally switch. Do we read the ally switch? We could read the ally switch. Close combat could do a lot of work, but I just think crunch is to play. I said we don't read the ally switch. Actually, mm. yeah, let's not read it. Even though it's probably coming. I'm going to be upset if I didn't read this. Because I I was like borderline about to go for it. I'm borderline about to go for it. But it's just like, dude, the simple play usually works. Let's see. Don't do it. Don't do it. I think he's thinking about it. This dude is thinking about it. Sitting here taking this long to make a turn. He's sitting here waiting this long to do a turn. Okay, he withdrawn. All right, I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm with it. He's probably going to go in the Zassian. Yeah. And now at this point, I just hard swap into my Incineroar. That's definitely my player. Definitely my player. 
Hard swap into Incineroar, so I can have double into in the back end. EP's gonna be able to fly here. Slowly chip away. And Crunch is gonna be able to fly out here as well. Crunching. We crunching. And throw chops gonna fly. Can we eat this? We should be able to, I think. Alright, cool. Alright. So, let's hard swap. Let's do a nice, lovely little hard swap into Incineroar. I wish I could protect. I really do wish I could protect, but. Hmm. Azamazenta might die here. Oh, I wish I could protect. Really do wish we had protect. I mean, I say we just hard swap Azamazenta at this point. Go into Incineroar and then just EP. And finish off you. Yeah, that's gonna be our play. But Zamazet is gonna go down to a fairy move, if that's the case. And Lanyard should still be able to outspeed and finish off Incineroar here. And now we get off that Intimidate. And I could fake out next turn. And choice to a better move for my boy. But with that all day. The power flies through. KO, right? You have good thing out of the game. Get him out of here. Okay, so finally we can get rid of the Incineroar. Um, like I said, I think the fairy move is coming across into our Incineroar, right? I was just gonna go Sacred Sword. Okay, I'm cool with that turn. I'm cool with that turn. Maybe he thought we were hard swapping in Sinora on that side. We made a nice little call there. We can be able to get out you. We have Fake Out ready to roll. And I really, really want to double down into uh z into the Zamazetta slot. Or not Zamazetta, into the Zassian slot, but I don't know. I don't know. He's gonna send out Latias or Latios. And I think Ken set up a tail. So we could protect. A shield. Oh, we still got a defense boost. I didn't think we did. I didn't think we did. Hi. Um, Fake Out definitely has to come out here. Do we go into Zacian? Definitely one choice to like close combat here. Or Iron Head might be our play. Iron Head might be our play. That one's super tough. Super tough. Uh. Mm. We're going to some Iron Heads here. I'm going to say Zassi might protect, so I'm going to go into here. Does not. Dang it. But still, hopefully this Iron Head can take out. It's Choice Bandit here. He flinches and a Tailwind. Oh, he's just going to straight up Draco me here. Can you eat this? Can you eat this? All day. All day, baby. We do. Okay. That thing is in the dumps a little bit. If I can KO with this... If I KO with this Iron Head, which I think we should be able to, we should be sitting in driver's seat. Beautiful. Beautiful! Okay. So, this thing is minus one. We made that thing flinch. I'm liking that turn. We can Flare Blitz up into this thing all day. So, that's exactly what we're going to do. I'm going to drop a Flare Blitz, and I am going to drop an Iron Head. But, the problem here is... The problem here is... Going to be... Hmm, it's really tough. Because this thing takes out whichever Pokemon it hits. Hmm... Mm, now he's probably gonna take me out next turn. That was my problem. That was my problem. It was a speed factor. Ah, dude, it's GG's. It's GG's. That's too tough. That is too tough. Yo, one and two for today's video. Come on, man. Come on, man. Go on up against some heavy meta teams. Maybe he misses. Maybe we get a crit. Let's see what this dude does. Let's see what this dude does. Dang it, man. Dang it. Maybe we should have choice to a close combat. Would have been a better play. Behemoth Blade flies through here. Ouch. That's later, Skater. I mean, we have a defense bulk. Let's see. Let's see. Nope. All day, dude. Sassian's just overpowering. He's just way too overpowering. But, yo, solid set of battles for today's video. Two losses, one win, and both of our losses were very good battles and super, super close in the end. Not a bad set of battles for today's video. I want to give another huge shout out to my boy Gale for leaving this team in my Instagram teams. I absolutely love it. Very, very tough going up against meta teams as always, which we lost to two of them today, but it's all good. We're totally chilling. Grab yourself a win and had three solid battles all around. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.